All right, today we are going to create an energy pyramid, sort of something, something like this, okay? Showing those trophic levels and the transfers of energy within an ecosystem. So in order to do this, we are going to need a ruler, a pair of scissors, pencil, and a piece of paper. Um, and it's usually a rectangle. So actually the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to make a square. Cause in order to make a pyramid, we need to have our squares. So we're gonna take the paper um, and we're gonna take the short edge of the paper and we're gonna fold it so that it meets up with the edge on the long side. So this is the first step. We're gonna fold it to a nice, nice neat line there and we're going to create a crease so that we sort of have a triangle here. Now, um, you can either draw a line or you, whoops, this is where the ruler comes in handy, right? You can either draw a line or you can uh, just pick it up and cut it. I know some of us aren't as good as we'd like to be in doing that, so we're gonna, um, Cut that out, whoop. Or cut it out. Oh, now we don't even have. Make sure we're on the paper itself. There we go. Then you can hang on to this piece or you can use it uh, to use it later or you can recycle it. Of course, we wanna recycle it if you can. Um, that, so once we have that, we're gonna open it up and you should see that your paper is actually now a square. And you have a fold down the center, all right, one diagonally. We're actually going to create another fold diagonally in the opposite direction. So we take your two corners that have the fold on them and um, fold them together. So now you should have two diagonal folds. Now you can always do it this way if you'd like, but by taking the corners opposite end, you actually have the folds so that they're all going to come in the center, which makes it easier to stand later. Um, so now we have four diagonal lines. We're going to um, cut from one corner, doesn't matter which corner, from one corner to the center of the square, all right? And so you should have, actually, if you take it, it sort of looks like Patrick walking, right? His little legs. But we should have two flaps on one side. Take one of them, doesn't matter which side of the flap, but you choose one of the two, and you're gonna draw a big X here because that's where you're gonna wanna put your glue so we don't draw in that one. What's gonna happen is eventually we're going to take this flap on here, put, put a lot of glue there, take the flap, lay it over it, and now we have our three sides. So we have a three-sided pyramid to create our energy pyramid. So um, on your three sides, you're going to have, one side is gonna have the organisms within the pyramid, the other side is gonna have the amount of energy at each trophic level, and then your third side is gonna have the names of those trophic levels. Um, if you notice this one, I chose this example because they um, made sure that all the lines were created, were standing out, and then they, their um, letters weren't just in pencil, they, they did it with marker, um, and they made it look very nice. It doesn't matter if you are the, big, the best um, artist in the world or not, but we wanna make sure that you made an effort and it looks as good as it can um, using colored pencils or markers as you get enough in Sharpies, of course. Um, and actually, if you don't, um, aren't the great of drawer, you can actually print off some pictures to help you out. Now, if you notice this um, foods, food pyramid is make-believe, which you can do as long as it makes sense. I'm gonna let you do that. I want you guys to get creative. You can do that as long as it makes sense. So this person made candy canes. It was candy cane grass. So um, as it's because it's grass, we're gonna call it a producer, right? 
Then we actually had a discussion about what organism would ne come next. Would unicorn come next or would fairies come next? And this person actually wanted to put fairies as the first one, but we discussed their relationship to other organisms. And if you think about it, a unicorn is very similar to a horse and horses are herbivores. So herbivores can only be in that first step, right? So um, we decided ultimately that if fairies would either be omnivores or they could be they could be omnivores or carnivores. So if we had the unicorns, um, then we'd have the fairies. And this, this person was very happy about the fact that fairies would be eating unicorns. But again, this is one made up. This you can you don't have to use fairies or anything like that. And of course, your prime um, your tertiary consumer, your big one would be the dragon that can that consumes all of them. So that's these are some examples of those different uh, energy pyramids. Now. How do we do this? How do we prepare this? Um, the easiest way I can tell you is to actually use your ruler to mark, make markings along those folds. So um, depend, determine what your food chain is first, and then mark along given lines. So I did two inches from the center there. I'm going to do the same thing here, two inches each from the center. And what that does is it gives us places to line them up as we go. So two inches, two inches, two inches. Now that I've had those, they should line up, should, should be an opposite word of word. And we'll get these set. You can then draw lines to connect those markings and there are your layers for your pyramid. And they'll connect all the way around. And make them nice and even. Okay, so eventually we're gonna have those filled in. We're gonna do that flap and there is our energy pyramid. And of course, oh, we'll have these created too. All right, if you have any questions, please let me know, and we'll go ahead and get started now.